Brenda, my daughter, and Phil and I are up on the top of Table Mountain right now, and we're looking down at Turner Flat, which is that great big green area, sort of in the center of the picture right now. And we're going to go down a little bit further on top of Table Mountain until we get to the place where there's a, where there's a waterfall that empties out onto Turner Flat. And what our theory is, based on some uh, research that I've done, is that at the bottom of that waterfall, or very near that waterfall, is the site of a Miwok village. And what we're going to attempt to do with uh, a long-range telephoto lens is to get some photographs of that area that perhaps, if we're lucky, we'll be able to actually uh, identify and document the location of some bedrock mortars. And those mortars, if we can get them, if we can get a photo of them, then that will uh, be proof that there was some sort of a Miwok settlement very near to where those mortars were. And like I say, the research that I've been able to uh, do has uh, given some clues as to the location. So that's what we're trying to do is match up the clues with some actual physical documentation through these photographs. We're getting closer to the edge and you can see by how the, uh, the rocks here look like they've been uh, washed, scoured by the, the water as it flows towards the edge of Table Mountain. Let's get over here and be able to see the waterfall a bit more clearly. And here's the big cleft in the rock right here. And that's where, after rain, the water goes. And this is one of the critical landmarks for where the village is, where the Miwok village is. It's near the base of this waterfall. So, the first clue has been found. We've got the waterfall. Now we need to go over to the edge here and see if we can find uh, the rocks that the bedrock mortars are in. That would be the, uh, the next clue. Well, there you can see Brenda. She's taking a look through the long-range telephoto lens at some of the rocks at the base of the waterfall. See if we can find any evidence of mortars being in those rocks. Well, we've been looking over the edge of Table Mountain for quite some time, looking for where these bedrock mortars might be in all the brush that's down there and the trees. Yeah, it's a quite a large area where they might be. But eventually we found them. And I'm going to zoom in, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to see them from the camera, but that's the rock formation right there right in the center of the screen and you may be able to make out the bedrock mortars. I've got a monocular which I've used to uh, identify the spot. They're definitely bedrock mortars and now Brenda's going to set up the long-range telephoto lens and try to get some really good close-up photos to confirm this find. This is a perspective shot to give you an idea of where the bedrock mortars are in relationship to this uh, big flat area over there, which is known as Turner Flat. And we come over here, and this is Table Mountain. And there's Phil, he's got the monocular, he's looking down at where the bedrock mortars are. And Brenda's got the telephoto lens set up, and she's now taking some photographs, obviously, of this site. This is the only way that we could get access to these particular uh, uh, bedrock mortars that we theorized were in this particular position. Because all the land down there is uh, private property and we weren't able to get permission to actually go on the property. So we went to where there is some public property up here on top of Table Mountain and we're able to look down upon where these rocks are. Finding and documenting these bedrock mortars 
using a telephoto lens would only work if you were in a high place from a satellite or an airplane or had a drone or in this case up on top of Table Mountain because in order to be able to see the mortars you have to be looking down and what I'll do is uh, mark the GPS location of where we took the photo from and then using Google Earth I'll be able to draw a line from there down to where those rocks are and then I'll get a GPS coordinate for those rocks and we'll have an exact position for where the bedrock mortars are.